Over the past decade, the Zags have done a good job of getting some of the top players in the state to attend Gonzaga. But where they found their next potential star may surprise you. Chris Egan and photojournalist Alan Reed hit the road in this week's prep zone. I like the fact that it's very slow, that everything is laid back. You can live a slow life and not have to worry about the hassle of of uh, the big city. Along the I-90 corridor just east of Ellensburg, you'll find the sleepy little town of Kittitas. It's a very nice community. It's still old-fashioned. It's still, if somebody needs help, people come forward. Got a lot of good people. Very good people. Hard-working town. It's a farming town. With one diner, one high school, and one... Let's give a big round of applause to your Kittitas Coyotes! Very good boys basketball team. It's a Tuesday night, and this is not only the biggest ticket in town, it's the only one. The Kittitas Coyotes have become a 2B dynasty. In three years, they have 69 wins and only two losses and back-to-back -back state titles. It's a feeling that you can't even describe. I mean, winning it with your teammates and... Yeah, I, honestly, you can't even describe the feeling. Senior Brock Reve averages 29 points, 9 rebounds, and 10 assists a game. The ultimate point guard. I mean, I think, you know, he scores so much that people talk about his scoring, but I still think his best gift is his passing ability. He's put a lot of time in, especially at a young age. It's almost like riding a bike when you do it at such a young age. And I think the, the skill part was done at such a young age that the feel of the game comes easier to him because he's not having to worry about where the ball's at. He's able to play with his head up. He's able to see the floor. Tim Reve is not only Brock's dad, he's also his high school coach. Pitch! Martin Pitch! See that, Martin! I mean, it's awesome. I mean, sometimes we butt heads, but I know he just wants the best for me. So, I mean, it's, it's been a really cool experience. Brock says his dad had him dribbling a basketball before he could even walk. But it was some early trips to Seattle that really fired up Brock's passion for basketball. We actually went to a lot of the Sonics games. And so being at those games, watching Gary Payton and being out on the floor, we'd go to some of their events where he just got exposed at a young age of watching good basketball. And so I think in his mind, that's kind of the way you're supposed to play. But the Sonics were not the only team in the state fueling Brock's love of the game. Gonzaga has just been my dream school, really. I mean, like, I've grown up watching him in March Madness. We went to the Sweet 16 when I was younger. He wanted to play for Coach Few, and after the 2016 state title game, that started to become a possibility. One of the professors at um, Gonzaga, when we won the state championship, Brock had like 46, and so that guy went back to some of the coaches and said, you need to look at this kid. Four months later, Brock attended a camp at Gonzaga. They offered him a scholarship, and he didn't think twice, accepting it on the spot. As a sophomore, when you get that kind of a look at the place that you, it's like meeting your girl in seventh grade that you want to marry, and it's a perfect situation. How many times have you heard of a kid that's come from a 2B school going to Gonzaga full ride? <laughs> come on, that's pretty good. I mean, just work hard. You have to just get in the gym every day, and I mean, dreams do come true, so I mean, you just got to make it happen. And Brock Reve is living proof. You don't need to play for a powerhouse high school to get noticed. Even kids from a small little town can dream big. And Kittitas, Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.